But don't close it. I want to be able to hear it. I'm sure she'll turn to the show. Oh, shoot. No, we're on. They can't hear us. I'm not panicking. Oh, they can't hear us. Everybody, we're both wearing a dark color. Welcome to another edition of Disney Trivia Live, the semi weekly show in which the two of us and you play Disney well, Trivia. Technically, we don't play. Yeah, we do. Sometimes. No, we don't. Okay. Well, very okay. rarely. Okay. Really, really. We're still playing. We're not playing. I consider this playing. Oh, we're playing. We, we sit here. We Disney Trivia Live. My name is Dubé Mosley. I co-founded Laughing Place along with my wife, Rebecca Mosley. Hi, Mom. May, I don't like that nay. Like she has another, she has an original, you know, a maiden name. She may like say Rebecca Mosley, nay, maiden name, maiden name. What nay? It should be like, I don't know what it should be. Anyway, that's Rebecca Mosley. This is Gideon Mosley. Of course. He's my son. We're a family. We're not, your parents are not divorced. I said maybe she's a horse. Oh. Because nay. That's no way to talk about your mother. I'm not telling her a horse. I think maybe she is one. If, if the term is nay. Which would be better? Us to be for divorced or for her to be a horse? <laughs> yeah, anyway. Um, hello, Alex. How you doing out there? Tron, everybody. Oh, I'm glad you're feeling better. That's wonderful. Turn around, bright eyed. It's time to play DTL. Hello, Nikki B. Listen to Nikki B. Give it a thumbs up. You need a second. <laughs> Why uh, smell the cruise ship? In just a few moments, the lights around YouTube will be darkened in preparation for tonight's showing of Disney Trivia Live. For your safety, please remain where you are until the lights come back up. And um, you can do that anytime you need to. Hey, Gio, turn around. Let's play some trivia. Denzel, that smells great. Denzel is here. What's that? Up? Would you just the cruise thing? Can I smell it? I, believe me, I can smell it. This one? it smells great. It smells let's, let's show it to the people. See? I don't know what it is. It's the Magic Candle Company uh, Castaway Cruise. Oh, that's why it's a Castaway Cruise. It's kind of generic. <laughs> Whew, it's better when you don't put it right in your nose, but oh my goodness. Distance <laughs> 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 does wonders for that smell. Hello, Fred Ramirez. Hello, Deborah. What is up? Uh, tonight's typo line is set at three. Good. Jason Champagne is here. Very good one. Uh, the magic, not the magic man, the breaking news man is here. How you doing, breaking news man? Breaking news, you're here. Uh, en français, oui, oui. Uh, that was one dangerous sentence. What Which sentence one? was that? Did we say something? Did I say something awkward? You probably said that. You always say something awkward. Do I? I'm sorry. All right, so we're in a time constraint today, guys. Here, so we're going to whip through this one and we get out of here. Yeah, I got places to go. I'm going to see a movie today. Assuming we get out of here in time. What movie? Uh, Civil War. Not. The MCU version. <laughs> okay, that's, that's <laughs> Captain America. <laughs> um, so, you know what? Even though we're 50 seconds early, we're going to do this. Yeah. It's going to take me 50 seconds to find out what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Hello there, and welcome to Disney Trivia Live. We're about to start our contests, but first, let's quickly go over everything you need to know for how to play our simple online trivia game. First off, there are two screens you will need to see, this live stream and the trivia program you will use to answer. On a computer, you can just put the two windows side by side, but on other devices, you may have to use your imagination. If you're playing by yourself, you can put our show on an iPad or something and play on your phone. Or if you're hosting some trivia party with friends, throw us up on your TV and let everyone play on their phones. Oh, and not the old-fashioned type of phones. 
you don't need a phone that can run websites. Websites like LP Quiz! LP Quiz is a custom trivia program written by this guy for you specifically for this show! All you have to do is go to LPQuiz.com and type in the four-digit code you will give when it's time to play the game. Then just pick a name and you're good to go. Now the quizzes are simple. Questions come up, you answer. The faster you answer, the more points you'll get. At the end, the person with the most points wins. But what kind of questions do we have? Let me tell you. Single select, choose one of the multiple choice answers. Multi select, choose one or more of the multiple choice answers. Then hit submit. Unscramble, you are given a bunch of letters and get this, have to unscramble it into a word. Ooh. Crowdsource, an opinion question will be asked. But rather than saying what you think, say what you think the most popular answer will be. Type in, a question is given without multiple choice. You must type in your own answer. Abbreviations are fine, as long as we can tell what you mean. And poll, not for points, just to get to know all of you lovely viewers better. Oh, and we have prizes. If luck is on your side, you will win your very own Disney Trivia Live Maglet. There are two ways to win. Way one, get first place. And way two, finish in the spot that the wheel, I said wheel, wheel, lands on. In order to claim your prize, just take a screenshot of your winning screen and send it to trivia at laughingplace.com. Well, that's about it. You understand how to play, where to play, what the question types are, and how to win, which leaves one more thing to do. Grab your popcorn, grab your friends, and get ready to enjoy Disney Trivia Live, where there is in fact trivia, sometimes. We are back, folks. So, let me tell you. We've got two quizzes for you guys today. Just two, 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 two quizzes. One, two. Whoa, whoa, Miss Angle's back. I have a two-hour drive back home. I was keeping my fingers crossed that I wasn't going to make it. Why would you keep your fingers crossed that you won't make it? Don't you want to make it? That's kind of... Oh, yeah, he probably better do that. Okay. I'm glad you made it. Glad to make it. Two quizzes. Our first quiz is written by... Not you. The good doctor. <laughs> Freddie Highmore. <laughs> Isn't that who the good doctor? I don't know who the good doctor is. Sorry, uh, Freddie Highmore? I don't know if I'm right on that. Who is Freddie Highmore? I'm, like the TV I, show? The good doctor. Yeah. Am I correct? Am I correct? I'm not 100% sure. But if I am... You are right! Yes! How did you know this? I don't remember. <laughs> I've never seen the show. I have no idea how... I've never heard this person's name before, and you're coming up with Freddie Highmore. Where did I get ads for that? Or did I used to get ads for that? There's some show where you that get asked for that. Crazy. Gideon is right. Okay. But who did uh, write the quiz? Nick Morgan. Nick Judge Morgan. Deep Guy. Yeah, Judge Deep Guy did write the first quiz. And the second quiz was written by me to the extent there is writing, which is not much. But it was created by me. All right. Um, and if you should win either one of today's quizzes or finish in a place as designated by, I didn't even try, but luck was on my side, you will win your very own one of a kind Disney. Trivia Live Maglet! I would do anything for trivia, but I won't do that. So, get yourselves to lpquiz.com. lpquiz.com. lpquiz.com as we prepare to play our first game, which is called, our first quiz, which is called Total Eclipse of the Heart, Turn Around Bright Eyes, Every Now and Then I Fall Apart. And I need you... Yeah, that's about all. Wait, what's the other quiz? That. Our other quiz, oh yeah, do I usually say it? Yes. Oh, our other quiz is called Where in Disney World? Okay. Every now and then I fall apart. There is, if you are of a certain age, this is one of the greatest songs of all time. <laughs> but only if you're of a certain age. Well, if you're too young, you haven't heard of it. But no one who grew up with this song mm -hmm. doesn't think this is one of the greatest songs ever. It's impossible not to like this song. Am I right? Am I right? If you grew up with it. If you, you know, if you just now discovered it and you're 14... All right, who's here? Dan Van is here. Tron is here. Grandma and Grandpa. Bon Bon. Madame Leota. One Little Spark. A Champignon. What? What did your voice do? A Champignon. Schnebby's here. <laughs> a Champignon. Where's, where's old Uncle Orville? What's going on? Caitlin's here. Hey, Caitlin. Isn't he not old anymore? Here's Rye. Where is Uncle Orville? Maybe he's still in the bath. There he is. Okay, there he is. Spin the wheel. J'ai Sparrow. Oh, that is some oui, oui, français. J'ai Sparrow. Et champignon. Bonbon. 
Oui, oui, we shall do today show all in the French. Yeah. Don't word of that in French. Real du spare. I hear. L'écoutez something. L'écoutez something. <laughs> it's horrible. Spin that wheel. Except that's a balloon, not a wheel. We couldn't find any place else to say it. Oh, okay. Spin that wheel. Gideon. Spin it, le wheel. That one. I, I, I really like that. Spin that wheel. I fixed it. I know. I know it. I know this. <laughs> we can actually see it. <laughs> hey, he finished in first place. Or eighth. Eighth, you will win. Whoa, someone is Eclipse of Geo. Are you saying you're trying to take Geo down today? Uh, first or eighth, you will win your Disney, very own Disney Trivia Live Maglin. A big happy birthday to Disneyland Paris. And they did celebrate their birthday. Uh, LP was there with a big press conference, all the news, lots of news, including the major news that mm -hmm. one of the parks is changing its name, which I know is a subject near and dear to your heart. I know, and it's a studio <laughs> park. Uh, what do you think of the new name? What is it? Uh, I believe it's called Disney Adventure Magazine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it may be Disney Adventure Park. That makes more sense. Um, it's certainly a it park minus California. <laughs> There should have been, Kyle. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Um, we need one of you guys to tell us you're ready to start. And we will get started with all 16 of you. Denzel, Eclipse of Geo, Uncle Orville finally showed up. Why are you up. saying this one's trying to oh, take down oh, Geo? But Eclipse is like to, to get in the way of. Are you think that that's actually Geo? Geo? Really? Okay. Uh, Disney Adventure World. Yeah. Geo thinks it's a cute name. I, I, think, it's, <laughs> I think it's another Disney right. park name minus California. We're going to start now with the poll. Why, Giddy? Our catch gets name and our catch gets to the user interface. UI. Which would be your Eclipse viewing jam? Total Eclipse of the Heart by Bonnie Tyler? Black Hole Sun by Soundgarden? Blinded by the Light by Manfred Mann? Or Ring of Fire by Johnny Cash? And uh, Kyle, typo came in question number one. <laughs> <laughs> There's an Something funny about the fact there's a typo here that I'm not going to bother you to uh, bore you with. But let's just say I no longer have to type in the answers, and yet there is still a mistake. What do you mean you also have to type in the answers? Because he does these in Kahoot, uh -huh. it's a pain to copy and paste every answer. Yeah. So I usually I copy and paste the question, and then I just type in the yeah. answer. Did you copy but now I, I, I say I wrote a program. Me and my, my assistant, ChatGPT, wrote a program that just takes the HTML and transfer it into a spreadsheet that I can just copy and paste. But it, when it does, when it, certain characters get transferred into their URL encoded version, mm -hmm. where instead of like an ampersand, you see um, an ampersand AMP semicolon or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so I have to erase all that and put it what it should be, and I left the semicolon. Mm. So just like I, right after saying I want to explain it, I explained it. Uh huh, exactly. <laughs> uh, Madam Leota said they are all good. Ring of Fire is awesome. Blinded by the light and Black Hole Sun, I'm not even sure what they are. Uh, the correct answer is Eclipse by Pink Floyd. You, I wish Nick were here to see you putting him to shame with that. All right. You guys said the correct answer of these four is Total Eclipse of the Heart, a song we heard a lot of last week. A lot of. You did? With the Eclipse, there was a lot of that. Oh, okay. For sure. All right. Question number one. No, there are two quizzes tonight. There are two. You just didn't put the other one in the title. That's right, but there is. What is the human name of the beast who captured Belle's heart? Prince Naveen, Prince Adam, Prince Eric, Prince Philip. Philip? It could be Philip. <laughs> you say tomato, I say potato. You say tomato, I say peach. <laughs> What is this guy's name? I wish Tony were here. Oh, boy. Should we be thankful he's not? Probably. The correct... Oops, not time yet. Sorry. Um, I was going to say something about this, and I forgot. So, I won't. Wow. Hey, I don't want to make stuff up. Inspired words. Oh, hey, Stephen from Wyoming. One of my favorite states. The correct answer is... I don't know why. No, I don't know anyone that prefers him to the Beast. No. Ooh. Who do you know, Nathaniel? Correct answer. Wow. Donna's not here today. Good thing, because 
So good thing this wasn't magic because Donna, I presume, is still in Disney World. I don't think she's back yet. So, but it wasn't magical, so she doesn't need to keep track. Mm-hmm. Prince Adam is the correct answer. We get one though. We get one. We need to have one of them tell Donna. I'm not going to remember. Mm. Geo, Dan Ban, Caitlin, One Little Spark, Ooh, One Little Spark with exactly 1,000 points. That means he got it before any time elapsed. Uh, maybe. That's, that's what that means. It's out of 1,000. So if you got it with 1,000, that's before any time elapsed. <laughs> you get it above 1,000. That means they got it behind, They got it yesterday. They got it yesterday? Wow. I didn't even write the quiz till today. Or no, I guess Nick did. Question number two. You'll be in my heart from 1999 stars and was written by Phil Collins as a lullaby for his daughter. Is every part of that true or is any part of that false? Just let go over your shoulder. Just let go over your shoulder. I already did, but okay. How many shoulders do you (laughs) think I have? Two. I'll be there. Oh, wait. He says it three times. Look over your... He says look over your shoulder three times. No, it could be the same shoulder. Just I, look over the shoulder. I would hope look it's look the shoulder. same shoulder. Yeah. Otherwise. Or maybe you're like alternating. <laughs> it's like when you cross the street, look left, right, and left again. No, look right, left, and right again. This is why I almost got hit by a car. You look right, left, and then right again. <laughs> this song is a banger. I love this song, too. And this is a truism. Absolutely true. Wow, Geo coming in with a very paranoid song. Look over your shoulder. True is the correct answer. My wife got to see that performed live by Phil Collins at the El Capitan Theater. Wow. That's a cool place. I can't remember why, now that I think about it. But you guys. Caitlin in first place. Way to go. Master Gracie, Tehran, which has been filming in Vancouver. There's a lot of uh, clips of it filming up on the Tikka Taka. One Little Spark and Jace Hall. Oh. Rounding off the top five. Question number three mm-hmm. in the category of Necrothis. What did the huntsman place into his box, adorned with the heart, as returned to the evil queen? Nothing, a red jewel, a pig's heart, or an apple? Signed by Steve Jobs. Have you seen this movie? This movie? Yeah. It's great, isn't it? I don't remember it at all, but <gasps> I don't see it. I was like six. I guess probably more like seven. I was at CEO's house. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we'll get so you're going to watch every Disney movie. Then we, and we got through one. Yeah. We have seen Pinocchio. I mean, the Tom Hanks version. <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh, really? I haven't seen it. We watched, uh, we just watched a walkthrough of Park MGM. The hotel? Mm-hmm. Let's go. Without me? <laughs> I probably would have joined, to be honest. Oh. Pig's heart is the correct answer. A beak. A beak heart. Not a big heart. A beak heart. Um, yeah, taken from Carrie. Was that the genesis of her love for that song? You can do so much better than that, Kyle. So apparently, I, I don't know where I saw this. It may have been from you, Kyle. But apparently a lot of people are just now discovering that Danny Elfman was the lead singer of Oingo Boingo. Where y'all been? After three questions. Why do I feel like you've mentioned that on the show before? I have mentioned that he was the lead singer. I don't think I've mentioned the fact that people are just now discovering. I know, but you mentioned the fact that, I don't know, I've heard you say oingo boingo before. Well, yeah, it's a cool, fun, fun word to say. <laughs> oingo boingo. Oingo boingo. And then I probably think, it's a dead man's party. Why is it so, some words are more fun to say than other words? That is a great question. Oingo boingo. Why is it more fun to say oingo boingo than the? There's probably people who study this. I'm sure. If someone can take some time to look that up for us, we'd appreciate it. Just put the answer in the chat. Boing. Caitlin, way to go. In first place. Oh. The Queen of Hearts slash Red Queen was also known by which moniker? Erezabeth, Bonham, Absalom, or Lestrange? Are you aware of this Making of Luxor documentary? I feel like I've heard of it, but I haven't seen it. That sounds fantastic. We, we watched together a uh, Luxor review, right? Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah. We're very into Vegas now, Kyle. I know Kyle is a huge Las Vegas fan, and we very haven't been. Vegas. I think okay. it's me. I'm very into well, I, Yeah. I don't know. You like, I think you actually. I enjoy learning. I enjoy learning about After Effects. Yeah. It's a you... place I don't necessarily need to go back to soon. But it's a place I wouldn't be opposed to going back to at some point. 
you got friends there. I do. That helps probably. And I saw the Bellagio Fountains. I will never see the Bellagio Fountains. <laughs> no, you won't. They won't. They will never show while I'm there. It's a rule they have. I know how you're gonna die now. You are going to be in a car driving to go see the Bellagio Fountain somehow. Wow, that's dark. <laughs> I know, but it's it's what's going to happen. The universe will have tried everything else to prevent it from happening. Your flight will get canceled. You'll get moved. You're um, something else. It's like, it can't anymore. There's no, there's no rare bird we have to protect this time. The wind levels just don't feel like being too low. We just can't anymore. He's going to get in the car accident. Maybe he'll even die. Maybe he'll just go to the hospital. Maybe he'll, maybe he'll just be take just long That's enough you better. won't be able to see it. That's much but better. somehow. There, there's no way. need for death to be involved. I can get a flat tire and just be late. That's, <laughs> That's perfectly fine. But you will never, <laughs> under any circumstances, see those fountains. The universe has said so. Fun fact. Uh, your mom, your dad, and your Benji once took a ride to Las Vegas and got a flat tire on the way. And you had you not, you would have seen the Bellagio <laughs> fountains. I'm telling you. Okay, uh, the correct answer, I don't even remember the question. Oh, we finished the question. Caitlin Granby, what was the question? Was, was it, it true the false? One? Oh, wait, yeah, well, it was true false, was it? True? No, no, it was Lizbeth, the, the queen's name. Oh, it was. Yes, it was the queen's name, um, which was Vegas not. distracts us. So, but Caitlin's still in first play with the perfect score. This is very impressive, Caitlin. Rooting for you. Question number five. When we first got back, we watched the exhibition theme park videos on like, the attractions of Vegas that are no more. Finish this line. From the damsel who stole Hercules' heart, did they give you a name along with all those rippling blank? Muscles, biceps, locks, or pectorals? I do not know why this is the picture Nick chose for this. It is odd. Mm, terrifying. Oh. Yesterday, while watching uh, mm -hmm. LAX airport cam, mm -hmm. there was an A380 mm -hmm. who was just sitting there. The camera was pointing right at it. It was taxiing. Mm -hmm. And while it was sitting there... The Alaska Airlines plane with the Toy Story livery passed mm -hmm. by, uh, Pixar Pill, uh -huh. Pixar Pier. Uh -huh. And so I got a screenshot. It's a perfect screenshot of, uh, like, a dream. Is that your new uh, computer profile picture or whatever, your no, desktop background? I did, no, I did put it on Facebook. If it, were, if it were better, I might do that, but it's kind of fuzzy being from YouTube. Uh, the picture is from the Meg, and her name is Megara. Thank you ah, very much, ah, Nick. Ah. Thank you, Nick. He's watching. Always watching. Pectorals, did they give you a name along with all those rippling pectorals? That was the one that I was sure wasn't the answer. Good question, Nick. I'm, I'm kind of proud of that one. I taught you well, young Padawan. Oh, one little spark is now in first place. I'm so disappointed. But Caitlin's still in second. You can do it, Caitlin. We do not play favorites here. No, we don't. Question number six. Well, we yeah, do. We but we don't. Not at all. We just have people who prefer. Which artist sang the opening song in Deadpool, as well as pop hit Queen of Hearts? Was it Taylor Swift, Valley Parton, Selena Gomez, or Juice Newton? I only know this because I know the song Queen of Hearts, which could be a hint for some of you if you know what kind of music I like. You like 80s songs. Yes. Is Taylor Swift an 80s artist? You like 80s songs and Disney music. Sounds like an Exitensio line. Really? You know, I got his first email. We're on the Queen of Hearts. Was that the only one you got the first email of? Or did you get the first email, first email of everyone? I think it's just, yeah, everyone. <laughs> you want this every email. I, no. <laughs> just just Exitensio. That I'm aware of. There may be others, but that's the one I know of. <laughs> Correct answer is Juice Newton, Queen of Hearts. You know it in really smart. Joker and the only foo who who do anything for you. Something like that. Just call me Angel in the morning. I'm not sure if that's right. After six questions, one little spark is in first place. Congratulations with a perfect score. But it's close, folks. It's close. Question number seven. It's anybody's game, actually. What make of car was Sally, who held the heart of Lightning McQueen? That's a reach lick. Chevrolet, Fiat, Porsche or Cadillac? I don't want to hold anyone's heart. That seems very gross. Do you know, like, when a doctor does surgery, he'll, like, sometimes he'll have to hold the heart and, like, massage it? Can you imagine? Mm. I, at least I think so. I don't know if I'm telling the truth, but I've seen movies and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen movies and stuff. I got some news for you, Dad. <laughs> I've seen movies. What happens in the movies doesn't necessarily mean it happens in real life. That's one of the most common things on TikTok right now. What's something that bothers you about movies that no one else notices? 
and then someone will come in and stitch that with what bothers them. And I never pass up one of those. I watch all of them. Okay. Now any examples? Um, a lot of examples. Here's one I'll give you. Uh, people don't say goodbye. They talk on the phone and they just hang up without saying goodbye. Um, any computer can be hacked in three minutes by typing really hard. <laughs> uh, landmines, when you step on them, mm-hmm. they do not wait for you to step off to blow up. They will blow up as soon as you step on them. <laughs> so that whole thing, stepping on a mine and not wanting to move, that, that's not a thing. At least according to the people on here. Um, all right. The correct answer here, as Joey is pointing out with his attire, is Porsche. Porsche or Porsche, if you don't know how to talk. I'm not going to say Porsche. No, it's not a Porsche. It's a Porsche. It's a Porsche. So pretentious. I will not be pretentious. I am very humble, down to earth, every day. I am not a pretentious type guy. No snootiness in me whatsoever. All right, Giddy? <laughs> After seven questions, one little spark hanging on with a perfect score, but Caitlin is so close. If one little spark just misses one question, not that I want that to happen, mm. Caitlin will take the lead. Vast time difference. Question number eight. You should ask the program, like it says, like what you need to do in order to like get a good idea. I can't even get it to give a thousand points as the maximum. <laughs> Part of the droid power couple, Eve was an acronym for what in Wally? Extraterrestrial. Terrestrial vegetation evaluator, goodness, etymology, <laughs> vocational expert, extrasensory valuable expertise asset, or expertise in vegetative analysis. Wow. I have not mentioned where I went to high school in at least two shows, Nick. Come on. Bel Air Prep, right? Bel Air Prep, you know it. <laughs> what you is this? It? Yeah. Um, it looks like a guy trying to fly without much success. Now, I mean, it looks like success to me. That's true. He is fine. He's in the air. Dude, people are... What, what people will do? This could also be from a movie. So you also wouldn't That's surprise true. me for this. But movies are real. We <laughs> just talked about that. Correct answer is... I can't the computer. I'm typing really fast. <laughs> Extraterrestrial vegetation evaluator. It would take way more than drones to lift Nick. Eh, we get enough of them. After eight questions, deep guy, Nick. Oh, nice Caitlin is down to fifth place now. One little spark, Uncle Orville, Madeline Yoda, you know them as the trio, are in the top three spots. Mm-hmm. Let's go, but Madeline But they, they have not gotten the same amount of questions correct, and they've gotten different questions wrong. Two of them. One of them. They're oh, not no, I'm sorry, I'm looking at Master Gracie. Yeah, what? they've all gotten different. That is fascinating that the two of them have gotten one different one wrong. All right, let's go, Madeline Yoda. Always oh, rooting for you against the boys. Question number nine. Picture reveal. This Disney World themed Airbus featuring the duck who hearts a Donald is run by which international airline? JAL, Azul, Ryanair, or Southwest? Southwest is international? Um, no, I do not believe they fly international at all. Oh, okay. So, put that one aside. I don't think Ryanair does either. They're not. Um, well, they probably fly over all of Europe. I'm this was quite the picture that. reveal. This is a beautiful. This is a good plane. Plane. I, I've never. I, I've flown on airplanes with special livery, but never one with Disney livery. Would love to do that. We flew on it with both first part. You never flown on one with Disney. I've flown like with the Southwest has some planes that have like they're like American flags. I'm pretty sure I've been on that. Oh, okay. But not Disney. And oh, not that really awesome. Um, Universal one. The Spirit Airlines Super <laughs> Nintendo plane. You would love to fly on that. I've even died. even put you on Spirit, you would do it. I'd tell them the outside to play the play on that, which I mean it's a Spirit Airlines flight, so I probably would anyway, but still. Wow. Thank you, Nick. This question is for me. Um Kyle said the color of this plane is a lie. What does he mean? It's I don't understand. Is, 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 oh, is the name a color? Oh, azul is a color. Blue. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. You're so smart. <laughs> you are smart. Azul, it means blue in uh, foreign language. That's not American. <laughs> Do you know uh, what language it is? Uh, not American. No, I believe it's Spanish. 
Espana. Not America. Espana. All right. One little spark with the perfect score. Can he stay perfect? Madame Leota is ready to take over if he does not. We have one question to go. Let's ask it now. Right now. Question number 10. Ask it away. I wish I were thin. The real life inspiration of the castle in which the hearts of Belle and Beast was bonded is widely believed to be what? <gasps> Chateau de Chambord, Cabane de Canard, Le Chateau La Tomate, Maison du Fromage. Maison du Fromage. House of Cheese. <laughs> 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 Which could be the answer, but it means House of G's. <laughs> oh, Nikki B, this is her favorite chateau. Do you have a favorite chateau? What's a chateau? I don't know. I like Chateau Briand. No, that's a food. A chateau is like a, a house in French. I mean, it literally means house in French. They could say cheese house. <laughs> Hi, Tony. Cheese is yummy. Cheese is yummy. Cheese is yummy. I like cheese. Cheese is good. Do you like cheese? I like cheese. You like cheese. The correct answer What's your here. Cheese? That's that's like maybe my favorite child. <laughs> so had, really easy. If I had more than one. Uh, what's your least favorite kind of cheese? Oh, there are too many. That's like like maybe my least favorite child. <laughs> wow. Okay. That's mean. I don't know. There. I love a cheese plate though. Go to, if I get a rest. If I'm at a restaurant and the cheese plate's an option for dessert, I'm all over it. Uh, the Chateau Briand is raw. Make it again, you muppet. <laughs> Yes, and le 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 chateau le tomate house of tomato. <laughs> um, let's see what it is. I believe Caban Caban de Canard is house of cruise ship, so it is Chateau de Chambord. Is Chambord like a, a type of alcohol? It's probably a region where the alcohol. Why are you comes asking from. me about the alcohol? <laughs> it's probably a region where the alcohol comes from. Hence, the chateau is there too. All right, guys, Gideon, do your thing. In third place is Madame Leona. In second place is young Uncle Orville. And in first place, one little spark! It's a Steve Harvey. It is. Of course it is. Who got Steve? Schnebs! Schnebs! One little spark and Schnebs. You know what to do. Trivia at laughingplace.com. Trivia at laughingplace.com. That was quiz number one, folks. Now that you know how this is done, let's get to the main <laughs> event. Exactly, Nick. Hey, teenager. <laughs> You don't have to drink it to have heard of it. Goodness. Yeah, but I don't think I would know the answer. Apparently not. But who else am I going to ask? You're here. We just have a conversation. You could say, you could ask me. Hey, isn't that blue, blue, blue from Minecraft? I don't know, but you, I, I probably wouldn't know. ask you. All right, fine. You could ask me. I don't mind. LPQuiz.com. Get back. We're going to do this Where's all over photo? again. Um, that is an excellent question. All right, so I forgot to do a photo, but it'll still work. I mean, they probably forgot to do an ending photo, too. That's okay. We'll live. Now, I did do something different with the poll. Let's see if it works. I don't even know if it's going to work. We'll find out. 2260, 2260, 2260. 2000. 260. 200. 60. I don't know if you got 10. Come on in, guys. Where you at? No Ajax here. I'm waiting. Oh, there we go. Grandma and Grandpa are here. Every air is an Ajax here. Caitlin Granby, Tron, Nikki at night. I wonder who that is. One little spark. Bonnie Tyler. Turn around. Madame Leota. Echamp. Mignon. It's just pink. Loki Doki. <laughs> just look over your shoulder and turn around. That's what this show's all about. Okay. This is the Hokey Pokey. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Failboat. That's an interesting name you got there. She always lost. We haven't had Loki Doki in a while. Dan the Man. Our Dan's Disney. Oh, Udon. WW. Where don't in where in Disney World? Je Paul Francais forty years ago, thirty-five years ago in high school. So you spoke French forty years ago. Or thirty years ago. Whatever number you said. Good job. Thirty-five in high school. Um, let's see. Under thirty minutes, what time's movie? I'm in good shape, Kyle. I'm in good shape. We're doing well. Uh <laughs> Schnab's got it because he missed three in a row. Um, yes, that is exactly what I implied. Exactly. Uh, good, good, good. Oh, congratulations, Dan. You finished last. That's not easy. I mean, it's not easy. Oh, 
I, I hear something. Oh, I hear something. I hear something. Are you ready? Yes. Hello there, Doobie. I hope you're having a wonderful day from singing and dancing and perhaps some gooseberry pie, too. I hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Are you ready? Yes. Hello like, there, Doobie. No I hope you're having a wonderful day. Turn the wheel. I'm going to cry over here. No one said hi to me. Hi to me. Jumbo ham and cheese, man. No, I couldn't be bothered to trim it. It was fine the way it was. Um, okay. Well, I'll spin the wheel anyway. Yes. No, I said hi to me. Fourth. Fourth. So if you finish in first or fourth, we will give you a maglet. And that includes you, Snow White. Hey, look. We got a ready already. And another ready. You guys are way ahead of me. All right. Here we go. I think it's their science saying that, you know, can you... Move along, please. I really like that. They're looking out for me. All right. We're going to start this game with a different kind of poll. So it's not going to say poll, but it is a poll. My mom is saying happy 53rd anniversary to her parents. Oh, I will do that. Today's poll. Tell us your favorite place in the world. So this is done via type in, but uh, we're just curious. So it's zero point type in. There is no right or wrong answer. <laughs> Just tell us your favorite place in the world. Are you sure? I see a right answer listed right there. I have to put something. It says Disney Cruise hey. exclamation point. Happy anniversary to grandparents. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Wow, 53 years. That's older than you. That is exactly my age, actually. Never mind. I thought it was older than you. <laughs> About two years younger than me, actually. Um, Just wow, and we, we're celebrating... 55? Two months, sorry, two months. And Rebecca and I will be celebrating our 27th. What year are we in? 24? And we got married in a long time. 20, 28th, maybe, this year. Oh, we got some answers. It could be a Walt Disney World, Egypt. Uh, Walt Tokyo. Disney World? Okay, go ahead, read them. Walt Disney World, Egypt, Tokyo, Disneyland, Hogwarts. Two different answers Tokyo and Disneyland. Yeah, uh, separate answers. Hogwarts, home. <laughs> Our deck, Disneyland or home, Japan, my bed, Disneyland Park, wherever Jason is. That's oh, sweet. wherever Jason is? That's sweet. Oh my goodness. Go ahead. The bathroom wall. <laughs> the depths of HE double hockey sticks. USA, Disneyland, Haunted Mansion. One might say the Skylighter, me walking around the parks in general. <laughs> Your cow not visiting you. <laughs> Guess like that. <laughs> and Magic Kingdom used to be my bed, but now can't. <laughs> the fact that we have two my beds in there cracks me up. You know what? This will not be the last time we do this kind of poll. I enjoyed this very much. Great. Thank you for participating. The correct answer, no one put, which is uh, Disney. Oh, do I have to mark every one of these? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I need to code in a zero point type in. Does not need to be marked. <laughs> <laughs> or just make a type in poll. <laughs> Correct answer is Disney Cruise, but everyone got it wrong. Wait, does that mean it will say no? Because like... this is zero point. Okay, so it doesn't even count as a question. Okay, I hope. All right, <laughs> question number one. Um, I will let you know these are all where we're going to show you a small picture, and I'm going to ask you where it is. The question, the way I'm asking it is specific enough. Either it's multiple choice. Or if it's a type in, I'm asking specific enough where you should be able to know what you're supposed to type in, whether it's a park or a hotel or an attraction or whatever. Okay, question number one. I bet is Bex at dinner with friends? No, she's here. She's in the other room. Mm -hmm. Which Disney World park has this? Is it Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Animal Kingdom, or Typhoon Lagoon? Where can you find this? <laughs> Everyone's favorite place should be laughing place. Jason, thank you so much. Between your answer and your wife's answer, you guys are the nicest people in the world. That is really nice. Oh, people are good with this one. Oh, yeah, I'm not supposed to be showing that. Uh, I might as well. I need it. No, because then we look at it. We shouldn't be looking at yes. it. Yes. Um, enough, easy. You know, hopefully not magic. Donna's not here, but easy. All the answers are in. Yes, this is all Disney World, Nathaniel. Uh, I will tell you, as I do with all of these we're in, um, I asked Gideon and Rebecca before the show, without any multiple choice, I believe you guys got all but one, I yeah. believe. And you do those separately, because she, like, took away some I will do it, I will do it separately answer. next time. I'll do her first and then call you in. Okay. 
correct answer is Animal Kingdom. Yes, you can see it here in context. But you all knew that, because that was an easy one. After one question, Master Gracie's in first place, Geo is found, Tron, Uncle Orville, and where in Disney World? Question number two. Where in Disney World was this picture taken? Was it Animal Kingdom, Animal Kingdom Lodge, Kidani Village, which is a bad demo, no, that's fine, or Disney Springs? That's not a bad answer. Animal Kingdom, Animal Kingdom Lodge, Jumbo House, Kidani Village, or Disney Springs? Uh, I believe that says Kidani Village. Yes, that is how they spell it. Number two, right? That, the that, second typo? I wish. Or <laughs> no, I think, it, I think it's my second. That's actually how they spell it in Africa. Have you been to Africa? Have you been to Africa? <laughs> no. Okay, then. Don't question me. I had, a whole life, I had a whole life before you were born. That did not include trips to Africa. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> but you could have. Do you know who's been to Africa? Who? Jeremiah. Why am I surprised? He's done an ABD safari to Africa. Of course he has. <laughs> and it's chronicled on Laughing Place. Wait, wait, wait. You're telling me Jeremiah has been places outside <laughs> the U.S.? Hard to believe, I know. Uh, correct answer is Animal Kingdom Lodge, not Kidani Village. It is in Jumbo House, right? Yes, that is Jumbo House. I don't know. Is it... I only go to one of them. Okay, let me make sure this is in Jumbo House. Now I'm, I'm a little scared. Uh, is this where we eat it, Sanaa? Nah, this looks like Jumbo House, I think. That's Jumbo House, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's Jumbo House. The correct answer is Jumbo House, not Kidani Village. Jumbo is another fun word to say. Did anyone look that up for us? <laughs> no, but we did go to France twice. <laughs> of course. Is that why you learned French? Uh, no. Oh. No, but I did use it there, and it was fun. Okay, so Animal Kingdom Lodge was the answer. No one is telling me I'm wrong here. So Tron is not Way to go, Tron. Coming like back from your illness one. in first place. <laughs> It kind of looked like it, Nick. It really did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it really did. All right, they're about to get a little bit harder, folks. Let's go oh, on no, to no. question number three. Another multiple choice worth a thousand points. Which Walt Disney World attraction is this? Is this Star Tours, Buzz Lightyear, Flight of Passage, or Spaceship Earth? My guess is another answer. Do you think you would have got it with multiple choice? Probably. Not actually, I'm not sure. <laughs> wow, Kyle with my back. No, but they did teach him how to spell Bel Air. Wow, take that, Jeep guy, Judge. No, no, Judge Jeep. <laughs> take that, Judge Jeep guy. <laughs> wow. Whoops. Judge goes first. Uh huh. Nice try, Nick. Nice try, Nick. Welcome back, Bloom. Welcome back, Bloom. The correct answer here, here is, wow, you wow. guys took a ride on the original Star Tours. One variation. Check it out. Y'all took good. Right back there, it says Command Center. That is not Star Tours, Dad. What is that? Space that Mountain? is Space Mountain, which is what I guessed, which means I am correct from all those hours ago. Have more faith in yourself, Gideon. <laughs> I guessed it. I guessed Space Mountain. I guessed Magic Kingdom, and you said no, it's Star Tours. I'm like, oh man, I thought it was Space Mountain. Thank you, folks. Good night. <laughs> I have failed my life. <laughs> See, it says right there Space Station MK for Magic Kingdom. Life. Because I am correct. <laughs> I am so embarrassed to be alive right now. <laughs> I'm going to a movie. We'll see. We'll be back here next on Tuesday, 7.30 p.m. <laughs> okay, I'm moving on. <laughs> Trying not to hate myself right now. I need some words of encouragement out there because I'm at a very low point in my life. <laughs> you raised a smart child. Hey, look at Uncle Orville getting it right by getting it wrong. Sounds like <laughs> Dad, just remember, you raised a smart child. I did raise a smart child. I don't know how, but clearly I'm not smart. <laughs> so embarrassing. 
Okay, I can't believe I got it right. It's the tiger. <laughs> Whose eye is this? Whose eye is this? Whose eye is this? Oh, thanks, Nick. That helps. I feel better. <laughs> Oh, Geo, that is not helping me get out from the slow point in my life. <laughs> Getting a taller chair would help. Neither is that, Denzel. <laughs> <laughs> Neither is that, Schnev. Or Kyle. How about Nick? <laughs> what if he said something positive? Insulting, but positive. <laughs> Where's their positivity? <laughs> Uh, based on the way you guys are all putting this, I think I spelled this wrong, but at least I can manually do this. <laughs> it, it's, I, don't, I don't know if it's your fault. Yeah, next time Gideon guesses something and I say wrong, we're getting proof. I'm going to show you the big version and make sure. That is a great point. I just kind of took your word for it because it felt Star Tours y enough. Like, they're both space. So I'm like, okay, I believe you. You know, I thought that was Star Tours because to me that was Rex. Oh no, one of the droids in the in the thing, which is Rex in the in the queue, right? I mean, that is one. It's a Rex droid, at least. Oh man! All right, all the answers in. Yes, it is not Paul Freeze. It is not Doobie after finding a typo. <laughs> it is not Shrek's wife. It is not Captain Eyeball. Gamera <laughs> was a great guess, by the way. Captain Eyeball. It is Tafiti. Related to Captain EO, I'm pretty sure. From the Tafiti Topiary at Dirty of Water, inspired by the Wada Pixar presentation. Topiary. What is it considered? I don't know. It's just a, a, a statue. I'm gonna. You just do all the speaking. Just because I just keep statue, making mistakes. It's a statue made of leaves. It's not. Really... So it's not a topiary. It's a statue made of leaves. I don't know if that's the right for it either. Geo did not know this one. Which I can't believe. How is that possible, Geo? Is this the real Geo? That's hard to believe. It's a Saturday, so I'm pretty sure it is. Uncle Orville's in first place, even though he's there because he got what wrong that I got wrong. <laughs> I he's got like, right. I know Doobie. Doobie's an idiot. He's going to think this is Star Tours. <laughs> Pull up your jaws and move on. <laughs> put it in your pipe and put it in your drawer. Continue on with the stupid place. Question number five. I'm still in pain. I'm sorry. Which Disney World park has this? Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, or Animal Kingdom? So I did proofread this quiz as I proofread them all, sort of, kind of. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad I did because I actually had two questions marked the wrong answer. And this was one of them. But I fixed it. Actually, I had three questions marked the wrong answer. Okay, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now I just want to get in the car and drive to see Bellagio. And what happens, happens. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. That's not dark at all. <laughs> I mean a flat tire. Okay. No, you do not. Which Disney World Park has this? Ladies and gentlemen, remember episode... <laughs> I don't... It doesn't say anymore at the know. top. What's the episode number then? It's about 323. 323, the darkest episode in Disney trivia life history. Uh, yeah, that's inspirational <laughs> parenting, Dad. Correct answer is Epcot. You all know this from the Land Pavilion. It is the uh, Mickey flower or something. That right? might be a topiary. Maybe. I think, I think Tafiti's a topiary. It's not. I don't think those are real plants. Oh. Are they? That may be, make it not be a topiary. Yeah. You're right. Okay, right. I'm not sure if it is, though. After five questions, the trio in the top three spots, followed by Tron and Schnabs. Question number four, six, whatever. Type in. Because six comes after five. That's right. <laughs> what attraction was this picture taken in front of? As opposed to seven. What attraction was this picture taken in front of? I said after five questions and then question number four. Wow. <laughs> would you like me to think over talking? Yes, I would, actually. Kyle said he thought up close to the behind the scenes tour. Mm, very interesting. It's a great uh, name for a tour. The last one. Yeah, yes, the last one, not this one. <laughs> um. Uh, Nick is so hoping there's another error. <laughs> yes. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, Bloom. I have not even heard of that one. All right. Gideon got this one. Mm -hmm. It's in front. It is currently in front of your favorite ride. It is in front of my favorite ride that replaced my favorite ride. And it is. Oh, I forgot to grade. This is a type in. No. <laughs> yes. No. 
Uh, don't end a sentence in a preparation. You know, I really thought about not phrasing these questions so that they ended in a preposition and decided I was just going to leave it. But believe me, that did enter my mind. I am kind of a grammar fan. Ooh. Can we give double points for that one? I wish I could because it takes extra time to type that in. And he did. Uh, Doobie's house is not the correct answer. A lot, oh. of, a lot of Expedition Everest. Um, wow, I would have thought this did better. Someone said, and this is the great one, Mickey and Minnie, the Sunway Railway, formerly known as Great Movie Ride, it which is, is correct. This is where Great Movie Ride was, and they were still there. And there it is. You can see it in front of the Chinese theater. And in front of that is... Jeremiah Good. You know, he's been around the world. Including Africa. Yeah. Okay. Question number seven. Uh, where he went to oh, uh, Kadadi the Islands. <laughs> Uh, question number seven coming up. Gideon, you gonna read? Uh, sure, I guess. Assuming it's not too complicated of a question, but I don't think it will be. Which Walt Disney World park has this? Was it Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, or Disney's Animal Kingdom? That was Nathaniel that put the whole answer out there for you. Thank you, Nathaniel. You made Gideon very happy with very that. Very happy. I believe this is a not Disney one at all. I'm pretty sure this is uh, the Venetian in Las Vegas. That's right. Kyle, have you done a Venetian gondola ride? And if so, should we do the inside or the outside? I think the outside looks better. Unless it's 112 degrees, then maybe. The no, the inside's better, I think. Really? It looks it's cooler in there. It's like nice and air conditioned, not high. Um, plus, if you're outside, um, it, it looks really like short. Like you just kind of like went under a bridge and turned around. The other one, at least, you like went down away and then you turned went the other way. I want to do outside. And you know, they're not paddling. I mean, they are. It's just not necessary. They're not. No, no. They're just steering. They're not even no, back. They're steering. Uh, Nick says that he plots on Jessamine in this picture. That's a throwback. Some of you may get that. Oh, so amigo. That's the sound you make up when you when you uh, say when you wake up. Yeah, bad. Oh, no. Dan says do the inside. Okay, fine. We'll do the inside. This is Epcot. It is, of course. The gondolas in Italy. 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 Look at Italy right there. The Venetian Hotel in Las Vegas. After okay, seven. Casino. I guess it's probably a casino too. Yes, most definitely. Uncle Orville still in first place, taking advantage of my stupidity. Question number eight. Where in Walt Disney World is this picture taken at? Was it Coronado Springs, Saratoga Springs, Grand Floridian, or the Boardwalk? Now, this one you legitimately got wrong. Actually got wrong. <laughs> not like that Star Tours thing. It was not Star Tours, though. It was yeah. Magic Kingdom Space Mountain, like I said. You said. You said uh, it wasn't even like I got it wrong, but then you, so did you. No, no, no. I got it right. You are so smart. I'm so proud of myself. Where is this picture taken? One of the most beautiful spots right. in Walt Disney World Resort, in my humble opinion, it is at... Under the boardwalk. Actually, it's not under. It's more like above it. It's in the lobby it's actually there. really above it because you have to really go upstairs. And I believe this is actually, yeah, this is in the little foyer part when you, like, every lobby has, like, double doors. So you enter that. Not every. Some of them do. This one does. You enter the first door, and then there's a second door. But in between is this beautiful thing up top. Oh, yeah, that's right. Is. I believe so. I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure. Okay. Pretty sure. Uh, okay, we've got Vegas stuff from Kyle. If you look at one building near Venetian, you'll notice it's actually just a tarp. They were building an expansion and canceled it, but never tore down the what they started. That is hilarious. Now I need to go back. Boardwalk. How many times have you said that? Many, because I want to go back. The trio. The what would happen if you did end up seeing them? Everything, the space-time continuum messed up. It's like not pressing the button and lost, which you will understand someday. Question number nine. Where was this photo take? Was it All Star Sports, Pop Century, Disney Springs, or the Boardwalk? Under the Boardwalk. If this is under the, I mean, it could be under the Boardwalk too. I don't know what's under there. Well, it's a, you know, it's the two-story hotel, so be on the first floor in a way. It's got to be under it. Yeah, well, I guess. It's I should say that because I say that something. Why are you showing me it? See if you saw it. I did. Oh, all questions. You got it fast. After 19 questions. Nope. After nine questions. Nope. 
Question number nine. The correct answer was Pop Century, not Penny's Boat. Not Penny's Boat. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. Just real quick. What comes after one? Three. What comes after two? Three. What comes after three? Four. What comes after four? Five. What comes after five? Four. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> no, that's not how it goes. Oh, sorry. This is Pop Century. Right there, one of those outdoor ED place things. Oh no, that's a, that's a hair wrap place. Outdoor hair wrappy place thing. We're okay. behind it. But we'll do we'll do the shapes and colors later. It's okay. Do colors have a sequence? Do numbers? I mean, do the, new shapes have a sequence? What comes after rectangle? <laughs> I guess theoretically pentagon. Can you name the four um, adjectives? I mean, the seven adjectives. It can't. And, goodness. The seven conjunctions of that. No, that's the, okay, well, there's a lot more than seven adjectives. Red, <laughs> yellow, green. Blue. There's a lot more than seven conjunctions, too, but of this particular type. I can. I do. Do you want to, you want to do it live for all these? Yep. However many people? I sure do. All right. Four and nor the one that starts with B. Um, but or yet. So, very good, very good. Can you name the uh, World Showcase countries? Yes, and I can do it like you used to. Can you just do it in order. Mexico. Actually, no, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna challenge you. Go the other way. Uh, Canada, United Kingdom, mm -hmm. France, Morocco, Japan, okay. America, mm -hmm. Italy, Germany, Norway, Mexico. Incorrect. Oh, goodness. You forgot China. Ah! <laughs> Curses! <laughs> Camilla does that eat money cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> What's your throw? Is your little magma? Yes, I did. Ch China comes before Norway in that order. Curses! So I had them in the right <laughs> order, too. And I just actually left out a country. Yup. It's a small country. Yes, it's China. All right, type in, folks. Gideon will read it. Where park or resort can you find this? So say the park or the resort this is at. Wow, I love South China. Mexico, Norway, China, Germany, Italy, American Adventure. Technically, should take. I should have said American Adventure, but apparently it hadn't educated me that much. I also left off the outpost. <laughs> it's okay. That's not. Doesn't really count as a full country. I don't even think I can name the uh, the neighborhoods. <laughs> the four neighborhoods that I've got right now? World Showcase, World Celebration, World Discovery, and World of Dance. <laughs> <laughs> At least that's your World of Color. <laughs> you guys did well on this one. It is uh, World Nature. Not acceptable, Kyle. Oh, World Nature. Not acceptable. <laughs> resort. Well, Disney World Resort, obviously. Uh, you guys did well. Uh, Disneyland is not the right answer, though. Um, a lot of Animal Kingdom. That's a good answer. Um, some smart Alex said Star Tours. Someone said Meow. <laughs> World of Adventure is not the right answer. The correct answer is what most of you said. Art of animation. There it is. I'm impressed that nine people got that right. That is just impressive. Wow. I forget this hotel because didn't we go here at one point during the LP retreat? We did. For what? We just went there. Oh yeah, and our Skyliner crawl. Yeah. Yeah. We sure did. Uncle Orville still in first place, taking advantage. One little spark. Master Gracie, we're down to our final question, folks. It's another type in. It's worth a lot of points again. And it's not that easy. Apparently, he's just being told he's a bad man. Is that one of your gifts? Oh, yeah. yeah I guess so. Banishing me to a corn for the Oh, it's the Twilight Zone. You're a very uh, bad man. Uh, uh, isn't it great to get it wrong and get to see all these? <laughs> and you still haven't added them for you. I know. You can like, put like right there. Right there. Gideon's not too fancy for that. True. All right. Final question, Gideon. 2,000 points. Things can change. Where? Park Resort. Can you find this? It's another type in. This is a challenge. Things can totally change on this final question. I'm excited. You got this one wrong, too. No, I got this one right. Oh. I'm pretty sure. My hairline is not the right answer. So remember, we just need a park or resort. Don't have to be any more specific than that. 
<laughs> Mickey V would like to do a show with just all poll questions. I'm not opposed. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fine. Wow. Can you imagine if things changed this much based on this question? Are all type in poll questions. Schnebs with the total guess. Schnebs, I will let you know. You might be. Not the, only. Go ahead. You not only got it right, you are the only one to get it right. Your total guess, the only person to get this right, Schnebs. Way this to go. Is Typhoon Lagoon. This is at the entrance to Typhoon Lagoon, right there. <laughs> Type it in chat. That's okay. We saw it, we shared it. So, being a 2,000 point question, that could totally change the scoreboard. Gideon. In third place, one little spark. In second place, Schnabs. Oh. oh, but so close. But in first place, a Glorville. And in first, fourth place, Udon. No, you don't know yeah. how to do this. <laughs> Master Gracie! So, <laughs> Uncle Glorville and Master Gracie, if you would like anything. And Schnabs, should... because I messed up. Yeah, and Schnabs. And the Corvo got it right. So. Yeah. So Schnapps probably would have won had I not had that bad question. So, oh, Schnapps has never even been there. Way to go. You got it based on the crustacean, I'm guessing. All right. So Uncle Orville, Schnapps, and um, Master Gracie, trivia at laughingplace.com. You guys have all done this before. You have a movie to go to. And uh, thank you all for joining us. Not, not one hour, one hour even. We can do it. We can do an hour show. Also, it's not even. Ow. Next week, Disney Trivia Live with Gideon and Doobie. Yes, we are heading that direction. <laughs> Got that right? Uh, none of the answers were correct. Any, what, what's that? Oh, see, Uncle Orville, <laughs> accept your loss. Accept, I said without that question. I didn't say if I got it right. So You got points for that. You would not have gotten points for that. I know what I'm talking about. See you on Tuesday, guys. Thanks very much for joining us. Bye-bye.